Hello viewers and today I've got another loadout that you can use in Warzone and as you can see I'm using the SA87 LMG from Modern Warfare. At first glance I think the SA87 looks more like an assault rifle but with that bullpup design it's definitely got that LMG style of damage range. For this particular loadout I wanted to see how good a maximum range build for the SA87 could be in Warzone. That meant I wanted to lower the vertical recoil, I wanted as much damage range and bullet velocity as possible, and I need a nice and useful scope to finish off the job. But before I break down these attachments for you and show you some awesome gameplay that I've got with the SA87, it would be amazing if you could subscribe to the channel. I've just gotten to 500 subscribers on the channel and I'm really grateful for everyone that subscribes, likes, comments and just watches the video. So thank you very much. I know I say it a lot, but I really do mean it. And so starting off in the muzzle attachment slot, we are using the monolithic suppressor for that all important sound suppression, as well as a 10% boost to damage range and a 15% boost to bullet velocity. This is a great place to start for a maximum range SA87 because of course when we are firing we don't want to show up on the minimap and draw attention to ourselves but we still want to get that boost to bullet velocity so we don't have to lead our targets quite so much and the damage range means that we carry that bullet damage with us at the extreme ranges. You might know that SA87 does have a considerable amount of kick as it is an LMG after all. And so if you want to forego that stealth, then you can use the compensator for a huge 27% reduction to vertical recoil. You will be definitely giving up that stealth and you will want to tighten up that horizontal bounce with some other attachments because it can really squish the recoil pattern. For the barrel we are going for the longest barrel available and that is the SA87 25.4 inch factory barrel. You might find that other YouTubers would say to not bother using this barrel on the SA87 because most of the time you'd use the longest barrel for the purposes of further reducing that vertical recoil control. This barrel actually only reduces vertical recoil by 5%, but as I mentioned, we are going for that maximum damage range and that nice and healthy increase to bullet velocity, and it does still achieve this despite the low vertical recoil reduction. It provides a 20% increase to damage range and a 26% increase to bullet velocity, which means that it just makes it overall easier and more effective the further away the target is. And even though we're not getting that much vertical recoil reduction in the form of these combination of attachments, we still want to tighten up that recoil stabilization. And that is the left and right deviation of the barrel when you're full auto firing. And the commando foregrip does just that. It provides a 15% improvement to recoil stabilization, as well as providing an additional 6% decrease to vertical recoil as well. And of course, we do again that little bit of extra aiming stability, which is very good for our maximum range loadout. These first three attachments mean that the vertical recoil is still definitely present on the SA87, but it's nice and vertical. And that means once you have got the sort of natural bounce of the SA87 under control during full auto fire, you will find that it is actually a very deadly weapon. Of course, we want as many rounds in the magazine as possible before we have to spend precious time reloading. And that is why in the ammunition slot, I'm using the 60 round mags because it doesn't increase the movement speed too much, only at 3% and the aim down sight speed doesn't actually take a hit, even though it says it does. And for the final attachment, I wanted to make the most of those hidden stats. And the Canted Hybrid has some of the best hidden stats available in the Optic slot. The Canted Hybrid reduces that vertical recoil by 14% and tightens up that horizontal bounce by 25%. Essentially doing the job that the barrel and the muzzle attachment slots currently aren't doing with this combination of attachments and so we're actually clawing back at that full auto fire accuracy and the canted hybrid makes the full auto very very much more viable at long ranges. 
but let me know down in the comments if you do give this weapon a go. I'd say it's definitely an odd combination of attachments, what with a big scope and not too much vertical recoil reduction, but we have plenty of recoil stabilization, which means that we can tap fire very confidently. And once you've got that full auto fire under control at the short and medium range, you'll be sure to winning most gunfights. But let me know if you give it a go nonetheless and leave a like if you enjoy the video and subscribe if you would like to see more. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the gameplay. Your teammates in the Gulag. If they survive, they can redeploy. Enemy UAV on there. I saw him open the door then. Position marked, airstrike, hit it. Push back there, don't know if he's got a friend. Down the same guy twice now, so he's definitely got a mate. Where is he going? There he is. Ah. This gun climbs a lot. Target appears hostile. I definitely just saw someone there then. He's probably going for the shot to get his rabbit oh, no, teammate. No. Oh yes. Finally to come out. He was not expecting that. I think there's one above. I'm sure, I think he's up here. Ooh, I'm hit. Ooh. There we go. I missed my first couple shots, but I'm safe now. Nice. For me, that was a good little flick. Oh, there's someone. Oh, the gas. Oh, no, he's got in the heli. Got that money ready for if I need to get a teammate back. Which I do. A bit too hard there, I think. Oh, I just finished him. He managed to get himself on the ledge, though. Oh, another nice flick. Oh. I'm quite confident with this optic, I feel like. There's at least two teams here. How many times have I broken armor? Like three times. Another one. So consistent this gun. I think they're all... Yeah, that's all of them now. They're somewhere beneath us. Right, it's that range where the SA87 can struggle a bit. You sort of have to tap fire, really. Oh, 
Oh, that guy was all over the place. Oh, they're more outside. Oh no. I could have saved my teammate then, but I missed my shot initially. Got him in the end. Enemy spotted. Okay, we're going to have to fight them because we've got to push that way. My teammate's getting a bit trigger happy. Don't really want to fire on the edge of the circle because you're going to have to move position now. And they know where we are. I need to get you up because you've got the money to get our teammate. Time to go. Oh, he's gone down again. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. Claymore set. Enemy UAV. He's going to rush us though, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Now that was a team wipe, but he was getting shot at when he came over that wall, so there's probably people. Oh, did you see him? Ah, fuck! Contact! Contact! One down. Come on, get the second. Two. Nice. Well done. You got him back. Really excels when you got it mounted, this weapon. They're lighting me up. Oh, no. I think he's on the middle. He's not on the roof, that guy. It's shot me. Oh god, I was just shooting the bars. Well, I'm pretty certain that's going to be the end of the game. I can't imagine my teammates getting me up because they're, for once of better words, pretty useless. But, had a good game, seven kills though.